Boom, a boom, everybody. That is not dirty. That is actually my um, garlic parmesan olive oil. It makes it look like the pan's dirty, but it's actually olive oil. We're gonna roast up some garlic, some garlic to get this pop in before everybody gets up in here. I'm gonna finish out one of these Spice World containers. Hey, there's Austin. Austin's alive. Yeah, put it all in there, all in there. Get in there. You're a bingo. Oh goodness. You mean to make pizza chicken? That'd be fun. What's up, Autumn? Hello, NJSK. Oh, Kenny's talking all high pitched. He is talking all high pitched. Ah. I am here a smidge early. I said six o'clock, but I was getting ready and I'm like, I have everything done. So I'm like, let's go. Let's go, kids. I actually saw this on a recipe, and it uses cauliflower for something starchy, and it's still keto, so we eat cauliflower. Hey, Brandon, you lost the effing casino, so now I'm at bingo. Oh, goodness. I'm assuming all your, your appointments must have went okay, because you're living the crazy life at the casino, bingo. Hey, what's up, Connie? I just got here. We are making a cauliflower keto pizza bake. Yes. We are. We are. We got some meat over here. This is from my meat tube. They only had 70 20 or 70 or what is this? I guess it's what, 70 30? To make 100? Oh, uh, not 70 20. Because and my um, Instacart driver said that she asked the meat department and apparently they're having a shortage of 80 20. So I'm like, huh. Oh, goodness, Austin. Crazy man, crazy man. So, we gotta do garlic. We're gonna start our garlic up in there, but then we're gonna go ahead and add our two meat. Again, I'm making burgers this weekend too, so. So we, I decided to take about half my tube. It was $14, but this is from Giant, but. Hey, what's up, Mary? This is part of my $140 freaking Instacart order. <laughs> oh, God. Which is like more than half, but luckily I had a gift card, which is really a reason I kind of splurged, but, you know, I'm going to have to make another game plan, because I don't know if I'm going to spend $140 a week on food, but I got way more than what I needed. I just wanted to be sure that I had plenty of food, but. Yeah, so I'm going to go to Puffs after I eat, of course. Did we dump Big D out on the side of the road? Well, I'm doing okay. My leg's still a little agitated. It's still, it's still there. Um, well, we got Big D. Big D's better today, a little bit. Um, you got a laptop for the... <laughs> um, a little better. He'll probably pop back in later. I, have, I don't know. He's... I finally got it through his head that I'm like, look, I am being a hard ass now, but I'm like, once I have the thousand dollars, I don't give a shit what you buy. So then that kind of opened his brain. And now he wants to buy a $39 iPad with his credit card. That's just to take the edge off everybody, which is bullshit. But I'm like, what are you going to do with the $39 iPad? How <laughs> big <laughs> Yeah, but no, Big D's fine. He's still there. You know, he's my brother. I can't write him off. And I mean, I can, but yeah, apparently eBay, it's third gen. It's super exciting. There he is. There's Big D. He'll tell you all about his iPad. <laughs> so they're super exciting. But I have to give him an extra $10, though, so he feels successful, like, he got me, he work. I'm working with him. I'll look at one of those. There's John K. hello! I wasn't gonna do my tube meat, I was only gonna do pepperonis, but I'm like, I have so much tube meat. I'm like, and it's kind of, the, for like, a bake, it kind of needs a... I mean, we're gonna add a cauliflower, but that, that, again, that's just kind of like a starch. 
And then I splurged and got the Rayo's pizza sauce. I've never had Rayo's pizza, but I've had the other sauce. I hear tell it's a delicious. And it's low carb too, so. Pretty much this whole thing is pretty damn low carb, but. Again, I've been eating keto bread. I've been eating breakfast burritos. I have a feeling once this whole leg thing is done, I am going to be so fat. So I'm trying to make other better food choices along the way. Have you considered pimping out for a really good medical research project for money? Seriously. What's up, Jeff? I'm actually just going into a research study. Um, they just called me yesterday. They're paying me 90, like $90. $90, I have to do like a phone interview and there's something on the internet. And I'm like, sure. The woman I talked to, I could not figure out if she was like from um, China or the UK. And when all was said and done, I think I settled on UK. She had like a UK accent. But the phone number was from New York, New York. So I'm like, <laughs> like is this lady Asian or from the UK? <laughs> He's going to be in better shape, yeah. Oh, and I did my research, everybody. So it says excessive alcohol consumption can slow down um, healing of bones and wounds. So if I have one drink tonight, I have this Calico Jack over here that's been sitting over here. I'm going to finish this. Is it racist? I guess. I didn't mean any harm. Um, so I'm going to finish this tonight. I don't think that's excessive. She just needs your credit card number. Yeah, no, but she's going to give me 90 bucks. So, yeah. I could have one drink. Yeah, one drink. That's so it's not excessive. So, yeah. And I have all that alcohol I bought. So, just a little, wee little bit. Although, I got the um, orange um, Jameson. I... I mean, you could probably drink that with, like, Diet Coke. That's, like, the only thing I have. I mean, unless I do it. I thought I'd do an Instacart order with some, like, really crappy food. But, you know, just a sip. But when I was drinking alcohol when I first fell, it made me feel so much better. So we're just going to have a drink tonight and see what happens. See how I sleep tonight. Maybe it'll be medicinal. Oh, we have bacon, too, everybody. Pre-cooked bacon. Already pre-cooked, already ready to rock and roll. They mean every day, all day, drunk or drinking. Weekend drinking. Yeah, that's what I read. It said, like, you know, you don't need to cut out alcohol altogether. But I guess there was a study done about, yeah, like, excessive, like, overkill. I'm like, well, yeah. So I was just like, I, you know, shit. I need to have a little bit of um, normalcy in my life at the moment. This is day seven. It was seven days since I've officially got outside. I'm thinking of walking out to Pearl tomorrow. <laughs> Hobbling out to Pearl just to say hello. So just being just a she. <laughs> I don't think so, no. Hey, what's up, James Banks? We got some chop me here for you. 70-30, buddy. Apparently, there's an 80-20 shortage, according to my Instacart driver, who talked to the butcher at Giant. So, 70-30. We're definitely have to drain this, though. It's very fatty. Very fatty, kids. We got fatty chopped meat. And then, once this is done, we're going to go ahead and add our cauliflower, because that's frozen. So, we're going to get that popping and get that a little soft. Then we're going to put some sauce in and our bacon. And we got tons of pepperonis. I ended up buying two packages of these just in case I didn't want to run out of pepperonis. So, hey, oh, we got pepperonis, kids. I'm going to even throw more pepperonis in and then put more pepperonis on top because we can. Freaking Saltville up in here. What's up, Instant Princess? How's it going? Pocono Joe was shaking, buddy. Pocono Joe found free bonus, everybody. Yep, chop meat, cook and chop meat. You got it, buddy. 
shit, Amy T. Yeah, and then yeah, and I've had, and then I was like battling off people from work. I was getting emails from people from work. It was like nonsense. It was, like, like, how are we making out on these revisions? And I'm like, ah, there are no revisions submitted for this house, so I have no idea what you're talking about. So, yeah, that salesman's gonna feel silly, but I look. I'm here, I'm kind of like on call all the time as long as I'm awake and on my computer, I will respond back to you. During this whole work from home, live at home all the time period of my life. Chicken in the flavor wave, ooh. All right, I think the pink's gone. Yeah, the Papa John's, um, that's right. John was living his best life with Papa John. This is like rich privilege up in here. All right, let's go ahead and drain this. Get some of the Seattle off of the air. down yeah gotta run some water some water kids i'm from long island okay we're from long island we're gonna add our people fake home what's up austin question austin has a question do you want an ipad after dark tonight yeah we're gonna allow big d back in for now he's kind of chiller so i guess i know john's living in the fancy house he's got a fancy little shindig there I mean, there's a little bit of rich privilege going on there, but hey, who am I to say? <laughs> hey, me up, you'll take advantage of him. Well, yeah, we thought about it, Amy. We've been through a lot of trials and tribulations in the past four days. But at the end of the day, he's my brother. Um, we've kind of come to a little bit of a, I guess, compromise, although it only it's only an extra $10, and he can get some shitty iPad. So, oh, Derek's going to see Frank. Okay, so you might not be there. Well, there you go, then. You might not even get to see Big D. So there you go. No Big D on the after dark. Oh, you're going with mom and dad. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, that Frank. I thought the other Frank's coming. Well, there's that, Oki. We, we dared cry a little bit. He couldn't find any good people. He's going to be back by 9.30. All right, I don't know if we'll still be here, but you can pop in. I'm old and stuff, so 9.30 is like past my bedtime. All right, let's try some of this Rayo's. This stuff is like $5 a jar. This is Rayo's pizza sauce. I gotta try it. Ooh! That's kind of good. It's kind of... It's a little 
sweet. Little sweet. Cauliflower and a flower. Hey, what? And a flower for The white vegetable shit. No, that's for like a starch. So there's a little starch in here. I'm keeping it keto. And you need a little bit of filler. If not, it's gonna just be beef and stuff. Yeah, I'll get a little cauliflower up in here, kids. I gotta, I gotta get some veggies up in you. All right, so I think we're all sauced for the most part. We are sauced. We're sauced. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat. So we're gonna go ahead and apply our chaz and our pepperonis, and then we're putting it in the oven. So our chaz. You know who likes cheese? Kids and fat people. And I'm not a kid. All right, do we have a little fancy, like, do I have any like parsley or Italian seasoning? We have parsley, what a little parsley flakes to give it that little extra, like makes it feel like it's fancy. This little parsley flakes for fanciness, fanciness. All right, I think I'm gonna have a shitload of extra pepperonis, kids. I have a whole other container. Guess what's gonna be my snack this week? Pepper freaking ronies. And I have enough bread to have cheesesteak sandwiches every day or grilled cheese or anything else. I, I, when I, I really had to plan out that shopping trip because again, I'm usually the guy that goes shopping like three, four times a week. What's up, Rosetta? And only being able to go once and having a huge shopping order. I really had to put some thought and planning in it. Oh gosh, so the Apple Arcade, which we play a Morgan Trail through, they don't have any much fun stuff on there. They had some game, it was like, it was, I've seen them before, but it's like Cooking Mania or something. Oh my god, it's the dumbest ass game ever. She kept penalizing me because I couldn't flip my freaking, um, my, um, what was I gonna say? My, um, French toast, and, and then it burned. And then she said, don't worry, mama will take care of it. Like, who the fuck's mama? This is my kitchen. But yeah. I don't think it's really worth paying the four ninety nine a month for only other than for Oregon Trail. All right, a lot of pepperonis. We have lots of pepperonis. More pepperonis, more gooder. I think we got a nice head, a little helping up in here. And again, I think cauliflower is one of those things that kind of just takes form of like wherever you put it. So. Sticking it in between all this other yummy goodness. Oh, heck yeah. I am in like Flint. Again, originally this was just going to be all like all pepperonis, but. It's never too much pepperoni. Never. We are going to let the pepperonis love each other. Like that. Perfect. All right, and our oven is preheated to a juicy 375. Don't want too much, too much pep. It'll get greasy. That's all right. We'll take a little grease up in there. All right, let's go. Into the oven we go. For, I would say, an approximate 20 to 30 minutes. 
I am a chef. Ooh, that's heavy. It's heavy, yeah, it's heavy. Huh. It's heavy. Heavy. Ooh. Is my phone foggy or is that just me? It looks like the whole room's foggy. Call me a call! Oh. I don't know where he's at. His girlfriend must be running late. It's, they're usually at her eating by now almost. Nah. Or is that just in my eyes? Does it not look a little foggy around the light? It could be, it could just be me. Alright, I'm putting these up in here in the fridge. Yeah, this sauce though. Carl wakes up with the pepperoni on each nipple. Yeah, these only have two grams of carbs in the um, per serving of the Rayo's pizza sauce. So yeah, very, very low carb. So again, at least I'm gonna get one meal next week that's very low carb, so. Keep it cool. Nipple. Not really my nipple. That would be my fibula. <laughs> Ow. If you hit it the wrong way, you can still tell it's like fractured, broken. But I figured out that I could attach ice packs to the outside of my leg brace. So, like before, I gave myself frostbite from the ice packs directly on my skin. So, that's at least helping a little bit. But so we've got. Did I show you guys? I think. I don't know if I officially showed you. Um, I put it on Facebook, but. <laughs> don't hit broken movie in the rest of that. So, you know, we got the basket here. Hold on, let's flip this around. If you didn't see it, if you're on Facebook, you probably saw it, but yeah. So we got the basket, kids. Although this is a really weird contraption, how it attaches. There's not really a good way. It's just like a shitload of straps but it works and nothing falls down. But so I can put here, this is where I put everything. When I go from my room to my out here, I put my laptop out there in there, but we can do this. And to, again, I don't have the, you know, obviously I thought we were gonna be quicker. Oh shit. That's not what I'm gonna be. Oh, now you're really looking at nothing. Okay, this didn't work how I thought, but I, you know, this will be dumb, because it'll be like a point of view, but not really. Totally, it's, it'll be, but yeah, so that's my cart. I can't fit his hospital bed. Ah, before Christmas, James, you missed it. I fell on ice before my one live stream, and then I ended up going to the doctor and found out that I have a fractured fibula. And when I went down the left part of my um, left leg is kind of like the cartilage or like the, I was gonna call it the stuff. It was torn, I guess. Cause my little ortho guy was playing with my left leg and then realized my left leg has like, it's stronger than the right leg. So, I don't know. But I go back next Friday. Again, next Friday's my go day. It'll be two weeks. I am gonna go out. I'm probably, I'm probably gonna go to Burger Wendy's because Austin, or not Austin, um, um, Angel gave me that Wendy's gift card for Christmas. So, but they've got that new spicy chicken sandwich at BK. But I don't think that's a good idea because um, if I um, if I like really have to go, I won't be able to go fast. So, but yeah. but we're gonna go out again and get tickets and shit. And then, yeah. So and then here I'll sit. Oh, I have another thing to show you too. We're gonna show and tell with the lotto king. And my phone is foggy. I think I got like 
juice on you guys or something. But yeah, so this, I've got, this is the, it's supposed to, it's got like a hard plate on the back of it, which keeps my leg from bending basically. So it's supposed, but so again, you're like, okay. And the guy told me I could go about my normal life, but you can't drive with that on because you can't move your damn leg. A Mexican chicken sandwich, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, crouch at. But, so, it's just a bit. Yeah, so, but I got ice packs over here. But sometimes I feel like it falls down my leg and I'm walking and I'm like, yo, my knees, my legs are moving. So, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> No, it's not bad, but again, last night, oh my goodness, my nights have been, some nights, perfectly fine. Last night, oh hell no, my leg was up flip-flopping, fucking flying around in the bed, keeping me awake. But last night, I just said, screw it, and I'm like, I got on my phone, and I'm like, I'll just maybe tire myself out, and then, I don't know, I ended up falling asleep. It'll probably be fine this weekend. It tends, like, that whole time we had off, fine. Fine. The night that I had to wake up to go to work. Oh, fuck, now it's flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. Wait, keep me up all night. Like, it's bullshit. But, yeah, so, ho I think tonight will be okay. Just because, again, I don't, I don't need to be anywhere tomorrow. So, my, I'll be chill, chill and relaxed. And His penis flew off. Oh, and these. This is my next thing. They have these at Giant. I think Giant only. Have you guys ever had these? They're spicy dill pickle bold almonds. I could have. I could have called Big D, but it was only momentarily. Then I went to bed. But yeah, these are delicious. They've got their, their pickle, but they've got a, there's a kick to it too. They're spicy. So if you ever get anywhere, they have these blue diamonds spicy, get them. Again, well, I don't think Wise has them, but Giant does, so, or Walmart. They'll put hair on your chest. Guys, I never set a timer. What time is it? 6.23. We'll check it at like 6.35. I just got to make sure my pepperonis get done. Or Amazon, yeah. Amazon probably has them too. Which I might, for some of the stuff that I want to buy, I might do an Amazon order opposed to Instacart. It'll be cheaper since if it's Prime. Um, yeah. There's 200 bones in the bag. What bag? Oh, did I? Maybe it was with you, John. I think, oh, that's right, we did, I think, yeah. But then I remember my coworker said about it, and then I was on Instacart the other day, and I was looking up almonds, I'm like, no way. That's pretty dang it. That's pretty good. You won? Oh, nice. Your cat short video got 200 views in 20 minutes. Shorts are where it's at, Joe. Ah, uh, yeah, the pizza tour. I recall. I recall. I put it in eight minutes ago. All right. 635 pot ridge. I think that'll be fair. So again, and if you're new here, you haven't been, here's the game plan. If you have a winning ticket, next Friday I have to go to the doctor. So I'm going to have to take my leg brakes off to drive. So while I'm out, I'm stopping at Puffs or wherever, someplace to get tickets. And I'm going to catch everybody up on IOU tickets. So, we're gonna, so next Saturday morning stream is going to be juicy and meaty. So yeah, so whatever you win from now till then... Up till Friday. Friday night is the cutoff because by that point I'll already be home next Friday. So yeah. And again, when I'm out too, I'm planning to record a church session for next Sunday. Yeah. And part of me was like, if it's nice out, I could walk my ass to Puffs. But again, at the same time, I'm probably not supposed to do that. Although according to my ortho guy, as long as I have this brace on. But walking takes so long with this one. Because I'm walking with like one leg on one side. So I'm like, no. So no church this week again. And then tomorrow, 
the morning when we usually did tickets, we're gonna be doing the member giveaway, the double member giveaway. So we're gonna be giving away eight $10 tickets. So tomorrow. And if you win once, your name stays on because again, this was for two months. So you could win so much many. I mean, unless you win uh, two times, then we'll then your name's out, but. He would come pick you up and take you to Puffs. Ooh, spaghetti. <laughs> oh, I already told the girl at Puffs to tell everyone. I stopped in there last Friday when I got, and I told him that I would be out for a while, so. Nah, it's all good. I actually sat down and did my budget today and realized how much money I'm actually saving. Um, I'm saving from not playing skills. I have lottery tickets. I know I'm going to have to rent Joe's Jazzy. I don't know. Big T said he's going with mom and dad to see Frank. Frank Wicker. So I don't know. I'm assuming not. I don't know. It's all late breaking. Texas toast, meatball, sausage, and ooh, yummy. I know, JP. I kind of laughed this morning. JP commented that Puffs misses your 40 cent bets. He's, uh, he's not asking for max bets. He's just saying Puffs misses my 40 cent bets. I'm sure they do, JP. I'm sure they do. But, yeah. but my bank account is looking really awesome because I haven't been gambling. <laughs> the way skills have been well, gone the last couple weekends is crazy. I'm murdering that. You remember the $3,000 credit card? Yeah, I made a little dent last month. I'm gonna hit it hard again this month. If there's anything left, I'm gonna take my tax refund. And then, yeah, then the $3,000 credit card is now a $0 credit card. And I'm not putting anything on it. Probably until next year for vacation. <laughs> but. Yes, I am, Amy D. I am. And I'm even tomorrow? Hold on. Alexa, what's the weather tomorrow? Tomorrow in Mifflinburg, you'll see lots of clouds and can expect a high of 41 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 24 degrees. By the way, I can now give you birthday gift ideas from Amazon's gift guide. No! Want to hear one now? No, thank you. So, but it's 41. I thought about seriously walking out to see Pearl tomorrow, Amy D. Hobbling out. Hobbling. It's 41 and cloudy. Okay. But maybe not even cross the street because it takes me a while to cross the street. So I might just hobble out just so I'm across the street. Maybe I can take a picture of her. I have to start her again because I started her remotely on, was that Tuesday or Wednesday? Yeah. But I, that might, I might tomorrow to finally get outside. But yeah, it is weird. Like I've become used to it, but it's just. Yeah. But, and I learned, Amy D, I am having an alcoholic drink today. Originally, I read it said, like, you should, like, not drink any alcohol, like, you're healing a bone. But I read back, it says, it's, it says excessive alcohol. Apparently, there was a study, so. I know, I don't want to get ran over by a horse and buggy or anything like that, so we're just gonna... We'll see how we go. Again, I could probably hobble my ass to Puffs. It would be getting from the alleyway across the the road i'd get hit probably but yeah i know i need to get in get the vibrations but again it would it, with this brace on i don't even think i can sit in the car like even if someone come and pick me up because when i sit on a chair i have to really be so you'd have to put the seat down for me i think so but i don't know yeah like but if i got out there i would probably be like fuck this take my brace off and go to pups but I'm not supposed to. I'm trying to behave myself as much as possible. Keep the damn thing on. And I mean, I think in, in a week or two, it will seem trivial if it's still not better. But I have been diligent. I have. Yeah, you did, Joe. Cauliflower. Okay. That's awesome. Take the driver's seat out and sit in the back, right? You make meat tube surprise? Part of this is from my meat tube, Tim, yeah. We got, we're gonna check it in about five minutes. How long have you been in the house? So I'm going on day seven. I have been outside twice. 
to the mailbox, which kind of counts. You get a little bit of fresh air, but like three or four times. When I had to pick up my Instacart. They should have just put me down. They should have. What's up, kid? Kid's like fast, effective moves. He's making moves. But yeah, we're going to check it here in like four minutes. It's a pizza, keto pizza bake. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, I'm having the time of my life. That's what someone said out your milk. I'm like, dude, if I would not choose this over my normal life, this is not what I want it to be at all. <laughs> and you know what the thing that irritates me the most? My Sheets Drink subscription. This is the last month they're doing it. I renewed it last month. It'll probably never be used again. <laughs> but even all the money I'm saving there that I can splurge once I do get there, you know. I know, I need to get a damn Frosty tag. I didn't get it, Tim. I know, I saw the teaser, John. It's exciting. Sorry for the beeping, folks. It doesn't matter to me, John. I'm flexible. I know, Tim. I know. What's up, Preston? Yes, I've been working from home. Yeah, thankfully. So I'm still getting a paycheck, which is nice. So. For now. Until I'm able to get there. Yeah, they're going to... Once the doctor says I'm allowed to get, I mean, technically the doctor says I'm allowed to go now, but it's just getting from point A to point B is kind of hard. To... And my desk is still in the second story, and I really can't do steps. So. Hey, you're gonna keep me right here. Yeah, I got time, John. I ain't going anywhere. So yeah. I will say, though, it is kind of nice, especially, like, Saturday mornings, because, like, used to, I used to get up, and I used to go to the store, I used to go to Sheets, I used to go to Puffs. I no fucking time. I got plenty of time. I know at least the weather season right now. I know, again, I said I might hobble out tomorrow and maybe, you know, go out and be, you know, maybe, like, wave at Pearl, like, get some air. But... Uh... All right, what time is it? It is 8, 6, 74. I <laughs> know. I know. It's actually been nice during the week. Well, it started, I was waking up at 5.15. I mean, I don't have to start work till 6. Today, I woke up at 5.50. <laughs> I gave myself $10. Get, 10 minutes, get logged in, get my coffee, get my breakfast. And there I was. So, yeah. What is that? Famo type, I don't even, what is that? Oh, thanks James. Yeah, me neither. We actually went back on our normal lives until everyone's like, you should go to the doctor and get that checked out because it's still kind of hurting me. So then I went to the doctor and I feel like ever since I went to the doctor, it hurts. Oh, heartburn med, oh, okay. Oh, okay, they, I would think they do. I would say they probably do. All right, let's get over here. I start early and give them a few minutes for my lack of commute. Oh, do you? <laughs> nah, I, I take advantage of my commute time and sleep. It's been, but I have to be ready though, because Monday Bill stopped and gave me a coffee. So every day this week, just in case he decided, 
I'm trying to, but I kept my phone ready because I already had my socks and sweatpants on. That's as much as I get dressed. Because in my um, spasming last night, I'm like, well, maybe if I put sweatpants on and put socks on, maybe that'll, no, nah, that didn't do shit. But it was worth a shot. At least I stayed nice and toasty. All right, let's flip this around. Let's go see what's going on. How's my peps? Honestly, it's just the pepperonis. I think, you know what? I think we're going to broil it a little bit. That way we can get those pepperonis because it's like done done. Let's broil just a little bit. Remember last that one time we did broil and we broiled and we broiled the shit out of whatever it was. We just had to take it easy. I'm gonna broil the shit out. Get those pepperonis nice and juicy. Nice and juicy. Yeah, Carl got a freaking Yeti cup from his workplace for Christmas. I'm like, ooh. That's bougie. His boss delivered it yesterday. But yeah, I still got my snow gem out here. I got my broom. I gotta get that to Pearl. <sighs> but again, I think even when my leg gets better, this walker is my new pimp stick. Totally. I mean, as far as like walking, I said it before, walking from here to my car. It's nice. Because, like, that's what I got to get the ortho guy to understand, too. He doesn't understand I have balance issues, but you you put a broken bone on top of the balance issues. I don't think that guy understands. That's why he's like, oh, you don't need that. I'm like, you don't understand. You don't understand. It's a bit much, but... It is a little excessive, but I don't want to fall again. This is bullshit, so yeah. Oh, we're gonna get the, they, it's really gonna get, um, it is gonna get a little, um, who was saying it's gonna get greasy, it is. But maybe we get the, the pepperonis that like, squeeze up. Oh, now he lost his 200 loaves of food, he split it. I mean, the walker kind of is a little excessive too, but eh. if it keeps me off the ground. Oh, shoot. But yeah, so tomorrow to a memory giveaway. Tomorrow night, we are going back into Oregon Trail Kids. We are. We're trying it. But I thought about changing the settings. Either we have, it's just going to take freaking longer. But I mean, it's Saturday night, I guess we got lots of time. If we change it so they go slower, maybe they won't die as quick. Maybe I need to be nicer to the people on the trail, but I don't know. But I want to get to ask where we went yesterday. I would love to actually complete one whole way through, so. I know you're like, you could do that on your own time, but it's, it's that's a lot of time. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. Although they're always like, let Josh Haro not this again, but I've got nothing else to offer you right now. I mean, I'm pretty much, and I'm not doing online casinos because I, I kicked myself out of there after last weekend. I said, no more of that. I felt like I was getting too comfortable with it again. And I'm like, uh-uh, I'm not doing it. So I shut myself off of that. Although I can get back in within a day's notice, but I'm still not doing that. Although I think tomorrow, I don't think, I think Monday is my reset day anyway, anyway, after the last one, so. All right, let's turn this off. Or it should be good to go. Let's get this going. We got to be ready for the seven o'clock um, guest die puzzle. Ooh, look at that. Just look at it. And again, I think the cauliflower will be different, but again, the cauliflower is just, it just it does it. Oh, yeah. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. Uh oh. You spent two hours at Target, and it was my marvelous. The this is your jam. Freaking Target. Hell yeah. We're moving the handle away from me so I don't hurt myself this time. I know. I got the Charge A gift card. Tim and Michelle got me that for a crumb. 
for Christmas. And I know Tim Ridley said you can use it online. Yeah, I'm probably going to use it online. I do need to go shopping. So. Did I show you this? Hell no, I didn't. Look at these juicy pepperonis, everybody. Look at them. Just look at them. Oh, yeah, girl. And again, there's a little bit of cauliflower in there, but let's not fear the cauliflower. The cauliflower is just giving us a starch as if this was kind of like um, a potato, but it's not. It's keto, kids. And who doesn't love pizza? They're kids. Damn kids. Oh, shit, that's hot. Oh, shit. The I got juices flowing, kids. What did I miss? Well, we got the freaking pizza open and John made a comment. Um, maybe it had to do with the right mix of people. I don't know. I don't know. What kind of people do we need? Oh, we got our bougie fork. We got these out, everybody. Um, I bought these at like the dollar store or something like, like literally 12 years ago when we moved here, I got a good deal on Carl finally decided to get them out. So we're putting these into rotation. These totally do say like 2012 dollar store, but they get the job done. But we're not losing as many now. Cause again, I'm not putting them in my bag to take to work. So, but everything again, everything goes in my trusty basket. I could probably put that in my trusky basket, but I'm only going from here to the table. So I can hold on to this. And move that over there. And then we bring the walker over and then we hold on to the walker. I've only had a couple close calls where I actually thought I was gonna fall on all of this, which again, that's normal anyway. That's a normal AMN, so. We're, we're kicking ass on that. Oh, gee, you see there? If you sit down on the freaking leg stabilizer, the neutralizer, whatever the hell they're calling it, yeah, it like half slides down your leg because it doesn't know where to go. It's like, oh shit. How, yeah, dollar store flatware. Ooh, that's hot. I'm burning myself. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so like literally, it's pizza ingredients. And, but for the starch, we put cauliflower. So, you just get a little cauliflower in there. Kinky sex food, it does taste good. See, with that said, if I could just have like one, one bevy a day, just one bevy, not every day, but like for the weekend. So I'll have a beverage tonight, beverage tomorrow, maybe Sunday. But I got all that alcohol I bought from the state store. I was gonna wait till after, but as long as I just sip it, you know, don't go crazy. Alcohol will put a little normalcy back in my life. I would try to get back to normal. Actually, I got some of my plates at Dollar Tree too. I got these little bowl, that bowl over there that I put the bacon in, I got that from there. I wish I had more of those, I should have bought a set. And then I got another plate too. And it's funny, those plates look like airline plates, like, like first class airline plates from the dollar store. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally, again, I know. Cauliflower is just one of those vegetables. Again, it's just filler, it's through the starch. It, does, it tastes a little bit of cauliflower, but mostly like sauce. Oh, and it's been great too, the work from home life. Not every day, depending, depending on how shitty my sleep was the night before. I get to take a nap on lunch break. And since I put my recliner back in my bedroom because I was sleeping on it there for a couple nights when I really couldn't sleep, um, it's awesome. I just like flop over into the recliner, put the put her up, put my leg up, and take a nap. 
I keep my phone on just in case I get a work email, like if it's like semi important, but it's great. I know that sucks, John. I know you were really sad about that. It's time to start your new life. A whole year left, right? Or when someone dies, absolutely. Huh. I keep thinking I left the fan on. It's cause got the air fryer on. I'm like, what do I hear? I wonder if they have any like imitation cola on Amazon. Like I got the the Wise brand Diet Coke. That's the only thing I think I'm gonna run short on if I do my next shopping trip next Thursday. If I do an Instacart, it would be the same girl again. Yeah, she actually asked me, she's like, how's the leg? And I'm like, oh, it's getting better, a little better. Like, but it's delicious, totally. I feel like I'm having a pizza. And again, the cauliflower is not offensive at all. I mean, unless you absolutely despise cauliflower, but it just gives it a little extra something. Cause like, is that, even if you put like potatoes in it or something. Mm. You should, Robert. I tap. Yeah, I gave that girl like an $18 tip, but I mean, it was a $140 order. But I gave her an $18 tip. That's what I, and, um, I think it was likewise, because he does DoorDash. He's like, yeah, she probably ended up getting about $24 to $25 after what they paid her plus my tip. Like, yeah, but he actually had to travel about 10 miles, but. It's like if you, but the thing is, I'm sure there's not a lot of constant orders. Although she's the only one, there was. Well, no, it was the mother and the daughter. They delivered the Wise Markets one. That that was during that snowstorm, and there was like freaking blowing wind in their face, and then I felt bad, and I gave them a bigger tip. How was my ice packs doing? Eh, they're still kind of icy. We'll leave them on for a while. Good evening, Random Red. What's up, buddy? Pretty good. Isn't it? Oh, shit. And is a coffee at Metro Diner. I watched Ange and Joe's stream from last night. A freaking Joe gives, he gives me anxiety. Part of a park in New York City. Like, yeah, it's like, what the hell? But yeah, we're just enjoying some nice keto pepperoni pizza. Cats, what do we call it? A bake? It's pretty much everything you got a pizza. Getting off work. It's Friday. Cheers to that, buddy. Something tells me you're gonna go home and you know open a little something, something. Bottoms up. <laughs> I know it. And yells at him too. Yeah. Mm. Cheers. Exactly. I'm gonna pour myself a drink. You know, I got my screwed up leg that's healing. But at first I read you're not supposed to have alcohol all by if you have a broken bone, which I do. But then I went back again and it says excessive alcohol. So I can have like one drink or two. Yeah. You define excessive.
Huh. We'll see. Okay. Brr, what are you looking for down there? Did I did need to do anything? All he managed to get a wee little piece of bacon out of here. He was really, 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 really into it. I did three packs of bacon. So I'm like, I just gave him some wee little piece. Yeah, 30 plus, I'm good. You can hurt yourself more. No yeah, you can hurt yourself more and not know it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it one drink, I'm like, it's good to go. But I'm telling you, before I went to the doctor and I was still drinking, I felt amazing. So, like, maybe we'll just see what one drink does to see if it makes me feel a little bit. See. <laughs> All right. But yeah, we're gonna go get a drink and we're gonna move over there. Then we're gonna move on to the Guess the Puzzle program, everybody. And again, I owe yous. I will be finally going out next Friday and buying tickets for next Saturday morning's big live stream. Since I'm going to the doctor, I'm gonna stop and then go on my way. It's kind of like rum springer for me. Rum springer. <laughs> I'm finally getting out from the community. It's gonna be great. Right. How do I want to do this? One step at a time. Did you hear popcorn balls either? I know! I was going to earlier. You were talking about it pretty good. Yeah, they remind me of the, well, obviously the same thing as the, the big ones you used to get. Right! Here we go, Kit. We can put it in the freaking wagon. Calls cutting apples if you're curious. Amy G says, hey, Scratch, we all put out some new content. I know, oh. this is a perfect time. Water keeps out of commission. I should have been capitalizing on the revenue. I know. <laughs> Paul should pick a video we can upload to the channel. In his wife beater. Yeah, it's pretty warm here in Pennsylvania. Town. I hear tell it's supposed to be like 41 a month. That's what Alexis yeah. said. So. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's short to Yeah. I'm gonna see how I mean if it's it says cloudy, but I might actually walk outside. I'm gonna hobble outside. <coughs> just get some fresh air. Don't think I would probably make it all into my car just because I'm really slow going now. Says the guy in a hoodie. I'm always in a hoodie. I'm always cold. The other morning, it was like the warmest morning, and I had like yeah. my beanie on. I don't know. What, Tim, I don't know what's going on. This is like the first year a long term pants aren't freezing. Or something. I, know. I don't know. And they're not dry either. They were there for a while. I mean, not now. I mean, shit. I'm not out in the elements. Okay. So, see, I got my little basket here, so we're going to put our beverage over there. We got to go get some liquor. Let's go. Come with me, everybody. Come with, I still need to get the monopod or that. You know, I'm still going to get a connection. So, it's going to be kind of like, and it's just going to stick up from here, and then I got to put my phone in there. So we're gonna finish the Calico Jack just so we can get this off the counter, everybody. We have to get it off the counter. It's probably gonna be a, is that a big pour from one drink? Probably, but. <laughs> That's just a swig. That's a swig, exactly. Cut. 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 Bring back the lotto grab bag or scratch me off. I need the nostalgia. Tim says that's a lot. Well, I'm gonna put this. All right, let's put this over here. I need another hand. Oh, the things that I would do with another hand, everybody. <laughs> you could give yourself a retro while fondling your balls. That's true. 
Okay, now this is where I'm gonna have to put you guys in the bag because I can't hear you. You're in the bag. I don't know why it's all like still like foggy, but. It's hot. Kid, I'm coming through a bit. It's like noted. Noted. Ugh. This actually just makes life easier too. Usually I'm hobbling over here afraid I'm gonna f f drop my liquor. Look at this. It totally makes me feel like an old person too, but hey, we get the job done. It's all good, everybody. It's all good. Okay. Now we gotta park the walker over here. It smells like shingle. Oh, it's the basket, everybody. The basket. Again, everything goes. If anything, it smells like grilled cheese. And I'm gonna put it on my food in there, too, and eggs. And breakfast burritos. We have breakfast burritos this week. I'm living my best life. That was part of my $140 grocery order. <laughs> Don't drink and operate a walker. Is there a violation for that? There might be. <laughs> I don't know though. Again, when I was in Vegas, when I had my scooter, I was driving around. They kept giving me drinks, and I had a drink in my hand, and I was zipping around all over the casino. Hell, even I even went out on the strip. I think the one time with a drink in my hand, say shit. I have not shit in the basket yet, Austin. It hasn't come down to that. Okay, thankfully. All right, let's see. I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. Drunk Jazzied. That's great. I know, I do. It's hard to sit on the potty with your, you have to like put your leg out like straight to sit on the toilet is really weird. So think of like the squatty potty. You can't do that. And like the natural way you're supposed to be able to, to do a number two, it's not working. So I have to do that before I put my leg brace back on. TMI everybody, just picture that. Just picture the Lotto King struggling. <laughs> picture the Lotto King struggling to take a deuce with a straight leg. There you go. Just, you know, just picture that. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna end this and we're gonna go over to Guess the Puzzle, everybody. I'll see you over there. Let's go.